Hey, what's going on guys? This video, I wanted to talk about a computer science concept known as virtual. And we're going to put that in the context of Java and see what that means exactly. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Now, throughout the last couple in-person videos, we have talked about how we can override methods and how we can use inheritance to pass down methods from derived classes. So think of it like this. We have a method, we'll call it hello, and then we can override this like so. So this came from a base class, this one from a derived class. Now, if we typed out this method, gave it a body, then we would be overriding this one here. Now in computer science, in order for us to override a method from a derived class, this method needs to be labeled virtual. But before you start typing out virtual and stuff, inside of Java, you do not have to type virtual because it's done implicitly. So in other words, all methods, there's some exceptions I'll tell you about in a second. Most methods are going to be virtual by default. So you don't have to type anything out and in the derived class, we don't have to say override or do anything fancy either. So I did mention there were some exceptions and not all of them are virtual. Well, the ones that are not virtual are static methods. And in addition to this, private methods are not going to be virtual as well, which makes sense because if a method is private, it's only there inside of that class. Now, I would encourage you to look up the details of the concept of methods being virtual because you should understand how it works and you might also get some more information on the exceptions when the implicit virtual is not a thing and so forth. So in conclusion, Java makes our lives pretty darn easy because we don't have to do any extra typing. We can basically create that method in any of our derived classes and it's automatically going to override any of the, the methods higher up in the hierarchy, the inheritance chain. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos because we're going to get some more hands-on practice and some other good concepts. So I'll see you then and be sure to subscribe.